Marhaba. Welcome to Oman, Muhammad Alamin Mosque. It is said that the construction of the mosque began in the year 2008 and continued until it was finished in the year 2014. And as a result of the construction activity, they said that people from different neighboring nations such as Iran, Italy, Germany, Austria, India, and the UK came together to collaborate on design, materials, technologies, and artistic creation. Muhammad al-Amin Mosque is one of the most significant places in Muscat, a place of worship. It is also distinguished by its dazzling twin minarets that you can see carved with intricate patterns in spectacular domes which shimmer especially at night when it comes to heritage art in the form of handcrafted details uh, the Muhammad al-Amin Mosque was described as having the Islamic designs and calligraphy that are curved by the hand into 3,000 square meters of stone throughout the building. So uh, it is said also that it is richly carved wood and white marble are featured throughout the interior spaces as designed in a contemporary Omani art and style. If you want to ask if non-Muslims can visit the mosque, uh, the answer is yes. Muhammad Alamin Mosque rests on an area of 20,300 square meters. It is also said that the mosque has a total of 3,000 square meters of hand-carved works of art in stone in the form of Islamic patterns and calligraphy. Staying, standing in front of the mosque was absolutely impressive and surreal. I have seen quite a few structures, big structures in my life, but the Alamin Mosque was something outstanding, especially at night something different by its look and architecture. The outside of the Alamin Mosque was already so impressive for us that we walk around it, jog around it several times, looking at it and taking pictures with our family and friends. It is so beautiful, especially at night beautiful outside what more insides so i hope one day when i have my abaya we will visit alamin mosque and see its beauty inside i have read so many travel reviews on the beauty of alamin mosque inside and um, there's no doubt that i do believe there's a special atmosphere which is so magical and also mystical, I think. Some travel reviews also said that entering the Alamin Mosque was so stunning for them and uh, they described the hand, all the handmade details, gold in Swarov's uh, crystals which they used for the chandeliers were so grand and were so impressive and by the way this magnificent uh, architecture the Muhammad al-Amin Mosque is actually situated just off 23rd July Street in the district of Bolshir, 
near our residential building so we can go here anytime we want almost every night we can work especially during winter I read some blogs also from the tourists that uh, Muhammad Al Amin Mosque was privately financed to the cost of 40 million Oman Reals, okay, Oman Reals, and bears the third largest carpet in the world, costing around 4 million US dollars to weave. It is also described as the the mosque covers an area approximately 20,000 square meters in size and caters for a maximum of 2,100 worshippers. And there's also a library spread across two floors to accommodate the 12,000 plus volumes of Islamic literature on MG. I'm excited to see those. Mga baby loves, I hope you enjoy the little trip with me through the Al Amin Mosque here in Muscat, Oman. It's definitely worth a visit whenever you're around. Mga Beba Loves, thanks for watching as I feature Oman Muhammad Al Amin Mosque. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Shukran Jazilan!